Hi everyone and welcome back to Understand the Bible and in this session we are looking at Lord's Day 13 of the Heidelberg Catechism and we're thinking about the line of the Apostles' Creed where it says we believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord and we're thinking about how Jesus is described as the only Son of God and also our Lord. So this is questions 33 and 34 of the Heidelberg. If last session was a bit long and a bit heavy, don't worry, this will be a little bit lighter and it will be a kind of more brief session. We just got four uh, passages that we're looking at today. So then question 33, why is he called God's only son when we also are God's children? Because Christ alone is the eternal natural son of God. We, however, are adopted children of God, adopted by grace through Christ. I remember seeing a comedy clip of Jimmy Carr and he said uh, one of his jokes was, you know, if Jesus was, uh, if we're all children of God, why was Jesus so special? And he was basically exactly this kind of question, isn't it? That, you know, well, why is Jesus the only son of God when we are our children of God as well? You know, what makes Jesus particularly special? And that's a question I think that clearly people think about if Jimmy Carver was thinking about that. Well, the answer is that Jesus Christ is is different. He's a son of God in a in a different way to the way that we are children of God. And that's because Christ alone is the eternal natural son of God. So let's look at uh, a Bible verse, particularly <clears throat> uh, looking at John chapter one. And we've looked at John chapter one a few times, and that's because this is uh, foundational really to understand, particularly thinking about who Jesus is. At John chapter one, verses one to three. <clears throat> In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. So clearly Jesus is different to us. You now without him nothing was made that has been made. So Jesus is the eternal Son of God, the creator, or through him God made all things. So it is different to the way that we are sons. You know, there was never a time when Jesus Christ was not the Son of God. You know, he always has been the Son of God. He's always been, been with God. That, that relationship has existed forever. And this is one of the, the things, as we thought a little bit about um, a few sessions ago, when we were thinking about the Trinity, just so important to understand that the Trinity is from eternity that uh, that community of, of other person centered love and it wasn't the case that you know Jesus just w when he was born became the son of God or that you know God is sort of in Jesus is in, in a different form but rather that the father and the son and the spirit have always existed together in perfect kind of unity and, and harmony that is the trinity so Jesus is God's son in a, a different way to the way that we are children because he's eternal and that, that relationship has existed eternally. And by contrast, it says we are adopted children of God, adopted by grace through Christ. And if we just look a little bit further down in John chapter one, this is what it says. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So we don't don't start out as children of God. We're creatures of God to begin with. But through Jesus Christ, he gave us the right to become adopted. Through Jesus Christ, we are adopted as children. We come into God's family. So that's why we are, uh, it says in the creed that Jesus is God's only son, because he is unique. You know, he's the only son of God in that sort of eternal way. We, sons and daughters, you know, children of God, we're adopted and we come into his family in a, in a different way. So I hope that kind of makes sense, you know, that uh, Jesus, is, Jesus is different. Question number 34. Why do you call him our Lord? Because not with gold or silver, but with his precious blood, he has set us free from sin and the tyranny of the devil and has brought us body and soul to be his very own. And why do we call Jesus 
our Lord, you know, the one who has the authority over us, the one who we submit to and in, in a personal way, you know, our Lord, not just in the in the general Lord over creation sense, but over my own circumstances and, and life and and so on. Jesus is our Lord. Well, that's because it says we have been bought with uh, his precious blood. So there's a verse in 1 Peter which uses that phrase, which they're, they're picking up on. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses uh, 18 and 19. And it says this, For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. So we have been bought, and we have been bought at such a cost. You know, it's the most precious thing in the universe that has, has paid for us, the most precious thing that's, that's ever been, which is the blood of Christ. And there could be no greater price at which we have been, been bought. So that's why we call Jesus our Lord. And it says we have, he set us free from sin and tyranny and has brought us to be his very own. So he's bought us and he's, he's made us his own. And let's just look at one more uh, verse here from the book of Colossians. Uh, Colossians, a lot of these are letters in the New Testament, 1 Peter and Colossians, both letters in the, the New Testament. And Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 and 14 says this, For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness, and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. So Christ has rescued us and brought us into uh, God's kingdom, in whom we have redemption. So that's, the, that's why we can call Jesus our Lord, because he has redeemed us with his precious blood. He paid a great price for us with his own blood, and he has brought us into the kingdom of, of God and he has made us his own. So that's why we call Jesus our Lord. Um, uh, one of the things that I like in, in Kevin de Young's book was it talks about how uh, a lot of people just don't really like these days being told what to do. You know, that oh, you don't have the right to tell me what to do. I, I'm just going to do it for myself. And we don't like calling anyone our Lord. I read recently that uh, the, the respect for authority, for example, the police, the government and MPs and so on, the respect for all of those things has plummeted uh, in the last few years because um, we just uh, don't have any, uh, any sense really, I think. It's that part of it is that individual kind of thing that, oh, no, no, I'm the authority. But actually, that what, what this is saying is, no, we do call Jesus our Lord because he has bought us for himself. And there's no greater reason uh, to, to call anyone, especially Jesus, you know, our Lord. So he's bought us and made us his own. And we, with joy, we can submit to him and call him our Lord because we know that he is for us and he loves us and, and all of those things. So it's a joyful thing calling Jesus our Lord and being brought into God's kingdom for, for good. So I hope that this video has been uh, been helpful to you. Let's take a moment to pray now and ask God to help us to grasp these truths more deeply. Now, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, your Son, uh, Jesus, our Lord. And we pray that as we grow in our understanding, you would help us to know more about what it means to call Jesus uh, our Lord, more about what it means to be adopted into your family through uh, your only Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you and pray for your help in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks very much for watching, everyone. In the next session, we're starting to think about Jesus' virgin birth as we move through the Apostles' Creed. So if that's something you've always puzzled about, there we go. We're going to read that, uh, look at that in the next session. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching and God bless.